Hello, my name is Joel and I work in Magner International's technical department. What I'd like to show for you today is a Magner 150 or Magner 150 basic cleaning of the machine. What you want to do is you want to turn the machine off first. And what you want to do is you want to remove all the dirt and debris from inside the moving parts of the machine and within inside the machine so that the dirt doesn't accumulate. So what you do is you turn the machine off you take a rag, you want to go ahead and remove and wipe all the dirt from inside the moving parts of the machine so that there's no more loose or free dirt. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to turn the machine off and you want to use a magnet cleaning card. So you want to take that cleaning card out and basically you can see by the design and the smell that it actually has alcohol or a cleaning solution on the card. Once the machine comes on, then we're going to go ahead and change the mode into account mode. Now when you run the card, you want to hold the card first. And let the machine run a couple times. And what you'll do is you'll remove the dirt from on the start rollers or the kick rollers. Now you can put that card in the machine and allow that machine to run it. Once the card goes through the machine, you're going to do that a few times. And what you're going to do is you're going to continue to do that until the alcohol builds up on the roller. Once you can see the alcohol on the roller, you can either use the card to rub the roller or you can use the rig and you're going to wipe down the rollers each time you do it. Once you have all the loose and free-floating dirt removed from the machine, now what you're going to do is blow out any remaining dirt. You're going to do that using a canned air. So you're going to basically blow out all the remaining dirt and debris from inside the machine. The main purpose is to remove any dirt from inside the machine, as dirt affects the life of the machine. So to clean the back of the Magner 150, you want to go ahead and use your rag. You want to remove any residual dirt, so you go ahead and open it up, wipe down the sensor area, the rollers. You want to work really hard in this area to make sure that you remove all the stuck on dirt. And then go ahead and take canned air or a vacuum and remove the excess dust. I hope this video has been helpful and thank you very much for your time.